As many as one in a hundred people have some form of autism. Asperger's is a developmental disorder on the autistic spectrum. It affects communication, making friends and understanding what people are thinking and feeling. They have difficulty working in groups as they find themselves socially isolated. Eye contact can be difficult and others may think they're being rude or disinterested. Changes in routine can cause severe anxiety, causing the sufferer to retreat in isolation or experience a meltdown. Autism is an incurable, hidden disability. Getting the correct support at the right time can have a huge influence on a child's life. My name is Charlotte, I'm 17 years old and I was diagnosed with Asperger's when I was 13. Thomas Hardy made a huge influence on my life and I'm going back there to find out more about the support systems they have in place and how they help other students like me. Thomas Hardy is a fully inclusive, comprehensive school. It provides specialist provision for students with special educational needs. It received an outstanding rating by Ofsted and this reflects the school's determination to ensure each student is successful. Our strategy is to um, include all students and to make sure that they're inducted into the school and that they're able to access um, all the learning. Um, we're a great believer in equal opportunities that children with Asperger's can access the curriculum as far as they possibly can and that we make all adjustments we can to make sure that they can um, learn and um, be successful um, like anyone else. The transition up to a school as big as this can be really difficult for students of Asperger's. Um, we offer transition days where they can come and have a visit to the school um, and we offer extra ones for those that will have, have difficulties in the transition. We also send TAs down to the middle schools to meet our students that are going to be coming up to hopefully start building those bridges. Myself and other students with Asperger's find the school day difficult. This is because everyday activities can appear a challenge to the Asperger's person. The staff at Thomas Hardy explain what they feel Asperger's people find difficult. Asperger's find change difficult. So if they come in on a Monday and expect period one to be taught by Mr Jones and Mr Jones isn't in and there's somebody else there that they don't know, that is very unsettling and I think those things are unavoidable often. So supporting those young people in not making them feel like they've been silly or unable to cope but actually Change is a tricky situation for most people. Moving around the school when it's very crowded, it makes it difficult when you have to work with other students. The social load or the effect of lots of other people around you and having to work and communicate is difficult. I think making and maintaining friendships is often quite hard. Um, generally, relationships with other people can be challenging. Because we teach in mixed ability classes in English I think the differentiation is quite important and I think one of the biggest obstacles to overcome is that of course in English it's all about feelings and empathising with characters and doing that sort of thing and I think sometimes it's tricky because there's no getting away from that but um, I like to think that we can work to people's strengths so if we do have like people that have that fantastic eye for detail or that you know that kind of like really that great way of working with graphs or yeah, whatever it is, then we have to try and incorporate that into those lessons. Assemblies and lessons where they're unstructured. Unfortunately, in a school like this, they're all unavoidable. But what we do is we can help the students to be able to cope with these changes and hopefully make the days a little bit easier for them. Without the support from Thomas Hardy, I would have found going to school almost impossible. The amount and level of support varies between students and Thomas Hardy caters for all individual requirements. Some need support as soon as they walk through the door of the school. Others need support um, in lessons and some need support at break times and lunch times. So the support really varies. I run check-in in the mornings so it means any youngsters with Asperger's that want to can come and meet with me first thing in the morning before registration so that we can just check that they're ready for the school day. Uh, they get a nice hot drink and a welcome and then we can sort out any problems if they have any. I run communication groups for each year group. Some need support in all their lessons, maybe with note taking um, or organising their notes. Some need the instructions to be wrote down for them in a simpler way um, so that they can follow and understand them. 
Others just need a friendly face that's there if they need them. Um, we have an open door policy in Education Extra, so any student that has any worries or concerns, they can just call in. So if they hear that something's going to be different in the day, they can always come and knock on our door and we can talk through and help sort that out. Students of Asperger's can be issued um, a timeout card, which basically means that if they're feeling a little bit stressed during the lesson or a bit anxious, they can present this to the teacher and it means that they can leave and they can go to a quiet space to kind of just sit and feel a little bit better. Thomas Hardy are always looking for ways to improve the support system provided to help their students in order for them to become more successful. I asked the head teacher as to what he would like to see moving forward. I think the multi-sensory room would be great for the school to put in place in terms um, of support. I think, that's, I think there are two priorities. I think that's one, so improving the physical environment for those children. But the second priority for me would be the training, you know, and particularly, particularly, I think um, doing more to train um, our, you know, teaching assistants who are fantastic and were recognised in the Ofsted report, I have to say, for the work they do. Um, but I just don't think we do enough in terms of structured training and talking about interventions and talking about support that we can offer children who are on the, um, on the spectrum. So those would be my, my two priorities really moving forward. I am proud to be a student of Asperger's as Thomas Hardy has helped me to become more confident so that I can face new challenges every day and push myself to overcome them. Get to know someone with Asperger's and your life will truly be blessed.